It is a major break in the case of a deadly hit and run crash. One woman was killed and a man was hurt. Well, detectives have been working on this case since January, but now they've finally made an arrest. And the suspect turned out to be a 77 year old woman. Her name, Patricia Clayton. Fox host Tyler Dumont is live at Hillsborough Police Headquarters tonight with more on the case and an interview with the man who narrowly survived that crash. Tyler. Wayne and Liz, good evening. While well, the surviving victim here says that he is happy to have at least a step towards justice, as he says, this crash has changed his life forever. Meanwhile, tonight, we are learning that this woman, according to police, had kids with her inside the van when the crash happened. It's the only photo Timothy Mahan says he took on his first date with Marjorie Avril. Everything went great. We were, you know, we were making plans for like the next weekend and stuff. As he walked Avril home back on the mid January night, the two were hit by a van at an unmarked crosswalk at Northeast Cornell and 17th in Hillsboro. It hit me first and knocked me back and I was like banging on the hood of the car saying stop, stop and she just sped up and drove off. As police arrived at the apparent hit and run, they found Mahan with just minor injuries, but Avril was killed. Surveillance video from nearby caught the van police believed hit them, and it was found the next day. But it would take eight months for police to arrest this woman, 77-year-old Patricia Clayton of North Plains, as the accused driver. And get this, at the time of the crash, cops say Clayton had six children inside the van with her, all of them under the age of nine. You never know what people are thinking, you know. I mean, it could, could have been anybody, I mean, but yeah. I was kind of surprised that a 77 year old woman didn't stop. Mahan still doesn't know why the driver didn't hit the brakes. He says the deadly hit and run crash has left him with PTSD. He also wants anyone who ever may be involved in a crash with a pedestrian to remember this. Just own up to it. Give, give the family and that person that respect to treat them like a human being, not like a piece of garbage you just ran over on the road. Now, we still don't know why it took police so long to make an arrest, but we do know that Clayton was indicted by a grand jury on two felony charges. Now, following her arrest today, jail records show that she did post $2,000 in bail ahead of her arraignment later this month. Now, Mahan says that he plans to attend her court proceedings. He says that he wants her to know just how much she has changed his life. We're live at Hillsborough Police Headquarters tonight. Tyler Dumont. Fox 12, Oregon.